Hey everybody, welcome to Paradise Love and Veggies, Season 2, Episode 2. Um, well, last time we talked, I talked about my sprained ankle, which I don't know if you can see, but it's actually um, fractured pretty bad. So um, I am pretty bummed. I've been kind of laid up. And uh, so indoor projects have kind of been the thing for me. So I wanted to share with you today um, something that uh, I'm working on that you may find interesting. I'm making flashcards for my seeds. So uh, taking a step back, and I'll address these in a minute. This is my seed collection for this next spring, 2020. And this isn't actually all of my seeds. I have a few more in my little uh, seed dresser. Um, but these, this is the main bulk of them. And so I've got veggies on this side, and I've got some herbs here, and then I've got some flowers over on this side and then a kind of some miscellaneous seeds that I've collected. Oh, here's a Asian pear seed. So we'll see what's gonna end up growing, but definitely the vegetables. I started thinking about how much time I spend when I'm in the garden, having questions about companion, companion planting, uh, the do not companion plant list. And I realized I spent a lot of time trying to reference stuff quickly on my phone, which isn't always conducive when you've got, you know, wet hands, um, muddy hands, uh, you know, just really don't want to take my cell phone out of my pocket a lot of the times because I don't want to drop it or break it or any of those things that happens to us gardeners. So what I started putting together was kind of an information card on all of my seeds. And so what I've been doing, uh, just to kind of give you an example, this is a, a packet of Chioga beets. And on the back, if you can see, there's a lot of good information, growing information, but there's not all the growing information I need. This other company, uh, they're more local and I really like them a lot. They have a little bit more planting information. And so between the two packets of different, you know, if it's the same variety, obviously, um, you know, there's a lot of information to be had. So then I've got my little cheat sheets I've used for years. This is a companion planting sheet. Um, I've got some really neat little tips for planting. A uh, little chart here that I found in the back of one of my seed catalogs. I, of course, start making notes on my inventory list from when I purchase my seeds as in regards to how long uh, the growing season is for them. Here's another planting chart from a seed company. Here's another companion planting list. Here's a companion planting do not list I've had for years. So you can see it's a lot of information to try to keep straight and having all this in the garden totally doesn't work. I've tried it and uh, it doesn't work. So this year I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row because I have the time. So just wanted to note that there may be other information in your seed catalog than you were expecting. So always take a, a good look through it. And especially in the back, sometimes the seed catalogs put out really good, helpful information about planting and planting zones. Also, when you're shopping for seeds, make sure that you're getting seeds that grow in your area or in an area similar to yours with the climate. So. Um, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. It's a little bit cooler here in the winter time. We get freezing temperatures and snow, but then we get a lot of daylight in the summer. So a lot of times I look for seeds that are from places like Sweden or Denmark that have a similar growing season and that works out really well. So this is my new cheat sheet that I'm doing for the year and uh, this is an example here. I've got provider beans. Pardon me one second. I can see my little dog is at the slider door. So let me let her in. Okay, so Ruby's in the house. And so this card here is for, hi Ruby. Hi, say hi to everybody. Yes, and that's her chickie if you were wondering. So 
This is for provider beans. They're a bush bean. I've had great success with them over the years. I just love them. The more that you harvest, the more that there is to harvest. I have actually picked plants what seemed clean one day and then gone the next day and had just as big of a harvest. So what I'm doing on these cards, and this is just a regular three by five card, I've got the uh, vegetable variety, the specific variety, and then I've got here a little T and a DS. So that would be transplantable and also direct seed. So I will get some of these plants started in the greenhouse before I put them into the soil but I can also direct seed them as the weather and the soil become warmer. And then this here is the 55. That's how long approximately they take to grow. Now, one uh, thought about transplanting, if you aren't aware, when you do start seeds in the greenhouse, you end up losing a couple weeks, um, you know, usually 10 to 14 days minimum on growing time, which means that once you transplant them, they're gonna go through a little bit of shock and it takes just a little bit of time for them to kind of pick up and start growing again. So if you transplant things, don't feel upset if they feel like they're just sitting there and not doing anything. They do need a little minute to catch up and get used to that new growing environment. So uh, on the back here, I've got the germination temperature, which is preferable, and some growing information on these provider beans. It's outdoors uh, for planting four to six weeks after the last frost. I've got a little note, it takes eight to 14 days to germinate and planting them one inch deep with a row space of a couple feet. So anyways, that's what I've been doing and I'm really excited about getting all these done. I have just started. You can see my stack's not that big and somewhere here I think I'm maybe, oh, not even a quarter of the way done. It's taking a while. So next time we're together i am going to take all this information here and i'm going to put it on this big calendar and i'm going to backtrack so i'll be able to actually put on the calendar when i want to be harvesting the specific variety and backtrack it to when i need to be planting or uh, transplanting to be able to make that happen so I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching Paradise Love and Veggies. I'm Samantha Janes. You can like Paradise Love and Veggies on Facebook and um, check out the website, paradiseloveveggies.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.